Oh, it's fish right there. Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Great to see you. So I'm back in the North Island. I've been back in the North Island a, a bit now, but I just haven't fished. I was pretty beat up and tired after that South Island trip, so I needed to try and catch up on some sleep and just have a bit of a rest and some downtime. Started sifting through the footage, and you would have finished watching the videos now, but hopefully you enjoyed that series. If you haven't seen the South Island Diaries Part 5, I will link it up here. Get a whiskey, get a coffee, get a beer, whatever, sit down work your way through those some beautiful places, some cool fish, and uh, just a good time really. This is my first North Island fishing day since I got back. And I just kind of cruised down here to the Tongarero just to have a look around because I've got some guiding coming up before the end of the month and I'll probably spend some time on here. And I just haven't fished this river really this summer, so I'm pretty sure there's still browns around. Uh, in fact, I know there is because I've seen them already. So I'm gonna try and catch a brown, maybe a rainbow. I haven't caught a rainbow trout in ages, so I'd quite like to catch a rainbow today. And just basically poke around a few places and just see see what's going on. So I was just crossing over and I saw fish. So I stopped, I rigged up, and I tried to catch one of them. So this is super low. Not particularly clear, but super low. So I'm gonna go 3x, about 10 foot of, it's about rod length of 3x. Then I'm gonna bang some 4x on there. This is all the Supreme Fluoro from Scientific Anglers. Nice arm's length of that guy. All right, so this is super low, so I'm gonna go subtle. I'm gonna go a little Parachute Adams, I think. Just to mix it up, size 14. Nice and subtle. Now, seeing as we're back in the North Island and on this particular river, well, these brown trout here, they don't, they don't like to eat things like a normal trout does. So the dry fly is purely there to present my nymph. If I eat the dry fly, I will give somebody a free gift. That's how confident I am that won't happen. So, I'm gonna go 5X off of that. It's about arm's length of that. And then I'm gonna go something, something small. I can see a couple of fish actually, so, you know, got several fish to spook here and get ignored by. All right, we'll go for one of these little gray numbers. A size 16 gray thing. I actually, I don't know what they're called. They're from Manic Tackle. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Sorry. All right. So we've got about. Oh no. Oh, look what I've done. Look at that rookie mistake. Oh, now I've got to untie all of this and do it again. Okay, people, I'm back. So I just re-threaded the rod. I just, I just put the line through every single guide on the rod. You know, just to mix it up. I've got the H3F and six weight. I've got the Mirage LT Reel, Scientific Angler's Infinity Smooth, six weight floating line to a seven foot floating poly leader to a tippet ring. And then I've got about eight or nine foot of 3X down to about three feet of 4X to a little parachute, ah, that's in my finger, to a little parachute Adams, size 14. Then I've got about an arm length of 5X off of that to a little gray nymph there. It's quite a long leader and that's basically because it's so low um, and so shallow and skinny. Uh, I think, I think yeah, long leaders is where it's at. So I've spied a couple of fish, so I'm just gonna start with this back one here and just we'll pretty much go from there. Spook them, catch them, hook them, be ignored by them, whatever it takes.
had a look. Got a fish chasing my nymph. Ooh, another fish came over for a look. I definitely see this. Looking. Nope. She's gonna go right past him. You can eat that if you want to. Looking. Didn't want to eat it though. All right, let's uh, change something up. It's gonna add a really small, unweighted pheasant tail off the back of this size 16 nymph that I had on. So let's go super small, size 18, unweighted. I mean, you'll definitely see these. Pretty much bounced off his nose. No reaction whatsoever. No. I've actually just opted for a size 16 um, here in copper. Just to add a little bit more weight to the gig as well. Maybe looking, maybe. Nope. What the hell, man? So I just changed it out for the fly that um, I call a trip wire. Actually, a buddy of mine, Joel, tied this and left it with me uh, when we fished a couple of years ago, probably now. It's a really cool looking fly. And I have caught these fish on it before. So I know it works. Yep, told you. Oh, Joel, my friend. The old tripwire. Just trying to get my uh, life in order here. I'm not in control yet at all. There we go, there we go, there we go. He wants over there. I'm just gonna move up away from his rapid a little bit if I can. It was, it's the old trip wire, Joel. That fly of yours, man, it's a good fly, dude. And if these fish eat it, any fish will eat it. It's a nice fish, too. This is a guy I've been working on for the last half an hour. Remember, I'm on 5X here, so just can't bully him too much. He's behaving fairly well. She's behaving fairly well. Yeah, bro. Nice one, Joel. Well, it's a pretty good start to the day. I maybe spent half an hour or so on that fish trying to catch him. Big shout out to Joel, that pattern's killer, bro. So really, monkey's off the back, pressure is off. A quarter brown trout, that's nice. So I think what I'm gonna do now is fish a couple of different pieces of water and just move around a little bit today. It's a very casual fair. All right, let's go. So, I'm at this cool little piece of wood, which is super low, um, as is the sun. See what I did there? But yeah, the sun's still super low, so I can't really see into the main bit of water I wanted to kind of see into. So I'm just gonna fish it blind. So I just put a little size 14 flashback pheasant tail on there. Still the 5X. And I'm just gonna fish it blind. There we go. There's a fish. It's a rainbow. This will be the first rainbow I've hooked for months, I reckon. It's doing a good job messing up the rest of that water. Just on that shadow line where I couldn't see. Cool. Oh, was a nice fish too. That's it. Get that head up. Keep that head. Oh, dude. Scrappy, scrappy. Scrappy rainbow. Yes. All right. I'm just going to fish it down. 
and away from me. Let's see what happens. I'm going to be right on the edge of that flow there. Then I can go around this eddy for a fair bit. Oh, that's a fish. Yes. Oh, that was cool. That was worth doing. Long range release. You know what? I guess that saved me doing it. on the inside here that I'm probably too heavy for. Oh, definitely too heavy for. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Oh, we'll be dragging past his face about here though. Right then. Gone for a little size 16 grey nymph, size 10 here in copper. I'm um, keeping the indicator on. I've added some uh, plant life just to really go subtle, you know. I don't know how this happened, everyone. Tied a fly on. This has wrapped itself 18 times around a bit of plant stuff, and then I got caught around some wood as well. So I did what I should have done, and I went lighter. It'd be quite a bit trickier to get that fly exactly where I want it than I first thought. Got him. That's a great fish. Ho, 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 ho. That was worth coming out for. That was super worth just stopping, taking the time to change my rig to the right rig, just so I can get the flies presented properly. First decent kind of drift with the flies in the right place. And she nobbled it. A super strong fish, some big runs, awesome. Stoked I did the big crossing to come over here and have a look. I definitely fished this pool just blind with a nymph, unless I see something up the side. Then I'll boost back to the truck. It's one o'clock, have something to eat, maybe look in one other piece of water, and then I'll pretty much call it a day. upstream away and on my way to the bit of water that I had in mind to fish I found a couple of fish yes a couple I found two fish on this soft edge 
just up just up here so i'm just changing back over to my original dry dropper rig which is the little size 14 parachute adams go to 5x to maybe like uh maybe i got that little gray nymph if i caught that last fish on parachute adams about three feet of 5x to a little uh gray nymphy thing right there uh, i think he might have eaten that Almost ate my dry. Oh, came up and just refused my dry fly. Holy hell, that would have been cool. Here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> ate the dry. And I guess I was just a little early and it was brown. I can't remember, and I have to check this. I can't remember if I said if I catch a brown trout on a dry fly, I'll give something away, or whether I said, if a brown trout eats a dry fly today, I'll give something away. So I'll double check. And at the end of the video, if I said, if a brown trout eats a dry fly, I'll give something away, then we'll revisit that and I'll give something away because it's only fair. good it's a good line right there got him yes and it's a brown oh ho, ho. sick back out in the fast stuff just gotta be careful you got this much line out in that fast current you don't put too much tension on you just want to kind of try and just persuade them that they want to come over here into the uh, into the edge rather than try and force them That's it. Perfectly hooked. Top jaw. Oh, cool, man. really good drift um, yes you just swung over ate the nymph job done and that was probably fish of the day as far as condition and size combination goes really thick tail big shoulders and just cool cool colorings and well this has turned out to be a much better day than I thought it's two o'clock so I'm gonna give it like another hour I'm gonna walk up to one more piece of water have a look in there and then I'm good I'm done I'm happy good stuff So I just trod on my dry fly and just stamped it into the sand. So I'm just going to chuck it in some of this high and dry dust. <laughs> Been using it recently for that, you know, when it gets super waterlogged. Um, and this seems to dry it out pretty well. Um, I haven't used it much, so, you know, I keep you posted. But I think I, I, think I like it. Fish kind of coming over, maybe. Yep, got him. Yes. Oh, 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 it's a rainbow. Oh, sweet. Uh-oh. We got a wrap. 
And I think we're unwrapped. Yeah, we're good again. Stay over here, mate. It's actually a good fish. Beautiful fish. Right, so I'm just on my last crossing of the day. I'm just looking in this little back piece. Ooh. Just looking in this little pocket over the back here, just on the end of the crossing. And I saw a couple of smudges that I thought might be worth investigating. Yep. And that was worth investigating. Whoa, that's a jumpy, 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 good rainbow. Try and land him in the slack stuff at the end. On the edge here. All right. Can I get him into this real quiet stuff? Out of the flow. A little bit more chance of dealing with him. Because he's pretty stroppy. Let's try and get their head up now. Oh, mate! That hair and copper. Oh, yeah. That's it. Head up, head up. Oh, mate! Such a strong fish. Not a, not a huge fish either, but you know, a good fish, but just super strong. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, that's a cool fish to end the day on. I won't sign out here because I'm going to go home and then when I edit this footage I'll just check to see whether I owe one of you a uh, gift of some sort. Before I go, the Helios 3 6-way F. First off, guys, thanks so much to everyone that commented, messaged, sent in names and suggestions, that kind of thing. But I'm going to name this one Larry. Larry because it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, if you know who Larry David is and you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, you'll know exactly where this is coming from. If not, it doesn't make any sense. Sorry about that, guys. So, we've got Larry, we've got Frank, we've got Beans, we've got Annette. Then we've got the Black Rod with no name. We've got that one to, to name. And then we've got the, the Helios 3 5 weight D to name, that blue one. So, we've still got two rods, two rods to name. Keep your ideas coming in. It's super cool fun. I'm going to get out of here because... Well, I'm getting cold. And then I'll catch up with you guys back at home. So, it would seem I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut because I did actually say, if a brown trout eats a dry fly today, I'll give something away. Even though I didn't land that fish, uh, it did 100% eat the dry fly, so. I've got to pay up. I figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a pair of these sunglasses. So these are Flying Fisherman sunglasses. I think these are the Taylors. I think that's what they're called. It's it's the same style as, as these ones you always see me wear. Uh, the only difference being this is a copper lens and that's a smoke lens. This is a great all-round lens colour. You know, bit of cloud, bit of sun, bit of this, bit of that. Uh, copper is a really good go-to colour. So I'm going to give a pair of these away because I'm an idiot and I can't keep my mouth shut. To go in the drawer for these, just make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and then just drop in the comment section below Browns Love Dries <laughs> and then uh, what I'll do is next week I will do a random draw and then uh, send these out to one of you I'm gonna go back finish this video post it up for Wednesday so you all can watch it so I'll see you on Friday for a Friday filler catch up with you next week we'll go for a fish have yourselves a great week everybody peace